Hey everybody, Jeremy here. Welcome to episode 23 of Action Figure Window Shopping. And as usual, I'm going to spend the next 15, 20 minutes or so looking at some cool toys and collectibles that caught my eye over the past week and share my thoughts with you. So over the past two, maybe even three weeks, uh, it hasn't really been a whole lot going on as far as uh, things that weren't NECA related or things from McFarland Toys. But that's changed just a little bit, just a little bit. Let's take a look at the newest McFarland stuff that's going on right now. This is a reveal that was just made. So this is the Batman from Blackest Night. He's coming soon and take a look at him. That looks awesome. I love how his cape just kind of comes up and it makes that peak right up top. Really, really cool looking. Look at that face, just zombified and just, oh my God, that's a really cool looking Batman. I know people are probably gonna be liking, if you look at the comics, they're probably gonna go Batman again, Batman, Batman. But you've been over this, McFarlane's been over this, Batman sells, that's why we get Batman. But um, I'm pretty sure that they're probably gonna release some more figures in this kind of a style as time goes on. But leading the charge is our good friend, Batman. Man, and he looks really good. So this is definitely going to be a pickup for me, but there really hasn't been anything else from McFarlane Toys really. Um, he showed, uh, he had a little video about um, some DC Direct statues, ones that we've seen before, but you know, we actually was able to see them in person somewhat, so to speak. Uh, but other than that, it really hasn't been a whole lot going on, but this is a really cool reveal from McFarlane. So last week I showed the Moon Knight Marvel Legends figure and the prototype render for it. And here he is again, except this time you can spend money to pre-order him. Uh, so it's coming out March 2023. That's practically a year away. Uh, I don't know why this wasn't done before then, but be that as it may, this is still the prototype render. As you can see, kind of like down there, it tells you. And yeah. It still looks cool, but I want to see what the actual version is going to look like. And in addition to this Moon Knight, we also have Mr. Knight. This is part of the Infinity Ultron Build-A-Figure Wave. So really uh, nice look for both of these guys. Moon Knight, Mr. Knight. So once again, guys, if you haven't been looking at Moon Knight on Disney+, Plus, I highly recommend that you check it out. Um, even if you don't know really anything about Moon Knight, that's actually perfect because the way that they kind of structure those first two episodes, um, especially that first episode, it leaves you a little confused and that kind of puts you on the same field as the main character. And then you're just sort of learning together as you go along. So don't worry about it. If you never heard of this guy, you don't really know the story behind it. It's fine. You can go in there blind and you'll be just fine. So another thing that I saw here. And there really hasn't been a lot of cool toys and action figures that I've seen over the past week. But this came across on Big Bad Toy Store. And the first thing that I thought was, what is this? Some sort of uh, Lego ripoff? Because, you know, Lego does stuff like this. But this is a 3D puzzle. In this case, it's an 84-piece 3D puzzle of Molinier, Thor's Hammer. And it's 35 bucks, so it's not that expensive. And it comes out in July. And here's what it looks like once you put it all together. Um, not the most detailed thing in the world, you know, but considering that this is 84 pieces all put together, I can respect what goes into, you know, creating something like this, which is why I thought it was kind of interesting. And then they also have these other models as well from this same company for Marvel stuff. So here's an Iron Man helmet. Um, and... <laughs> This one doesn't look that great. I think that uh, just going for the, the, the Lego one looks better. And you can tell that they're kind of going for that, even with the box design here. This black box, it looks just like, it looks like the Lego box. It really does. But here's the Iron Man. I don't like all of the clearly defined lines that you see around here for all the puzzle pieces. This is a 92 piece 3D puzzle. I never, I never did anything with 3D puzzles before. So if this is like your first try, your first time, and you're just sort of jumping in to see what a 3D puzzle was all about, you might as well start with something that you're familiar with in the form of Marvel and this Iron Man helmet. 
but yeah, yeah, it's all right. And you saw that there were some other ones here as well. This is the Age of Ultron Avengers Tower. I don't think Lego's done anything like this. So this could be something that uh, that could be worthy of your shelf. It's 59 pieces, so it's less pieces than all of them. Let's see how big this thing is. So we're looking at um, about 10 by 10 by 20 if I round up. That's not bad, ages eight and up, so it shouldn't be too difficult to put together. But yeah, Avengers Tower. If I had to get any of these, or if I were going to put together any of these, Avengers Tower would be the one that I go for. Just because we really don't see this often in like a collectible form. So yeah, I named a company that makes this 4D, 4, 4D Cityscape. I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, but like I said, man, I, I've been looking to see like, man, what's coming out, what's coming out. And there really hasn't been hardly anything that made me go, that looks awesome. I need to show that. I need to tell people about that. It's just been kind of a lull these past few weeks. Um, that's not NECA related, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to kind of go a little bit off um, my usual path. And I want to show this. So this store here is the pox store or the pack store i'm not sure how they pronounce it but when i was looking for like movie replica you know stuff helmets and whatnot i came across this store and they have these movie replicas in these uh cool helmets the only thing that makes me a little bit nervous is that they haven't updated these descriptions. As you can see, it says new for April 2021. I came so close to getting this Black Panther helmet last year, but I didn't do it. And the fact that it says that it's for pre-order status for release in April 2021, if, I wish that wasn't on the site because that makes me wonder, like, is this still being monitored? But it is. I went to their Facebook page and they still keep it updated. And their focus is on these lightsabers okay now they they don't call them lightsabers you know because you know that's a star wars thing it's a whole legal thing going on but they have these custom sabers and one thing that i've learned over the past year year and a half is that there's this community out there that really takes these sabers seriously i mean these things aren't toys these aren't like the ones that we see like the um the the black series lightsabers that you see in GameStop and stuff. I mean, that's cool and all, but there are some people, they are serious about this stuff. So for example, here's one of their newer ones, the Sun Killer, okay? So it starts at $119, but you can add all kinds of stuff to it, right? So you can choose a single hilt or you can go for a double hilt. Double hilt knocks it up to 238 bucks. And then you can also choose if you want it to be the pre-kit installation or if you want them to put it together for you with an Asteria heart, a uh, Profi heart, or if you just want the uh, different hearts with no blade. And from my research, these are basically soundboards. And there are some people that will swear that the Profi, Profi, whatever it's pronounced, like this, this one is the better soundboard. Some people might say that this one is the better soundboard. I don't know. But if you wanted to get at least the whole thing, you know, just the best of the best with honors, let's say you get the, the Profi, Profi heart, double blade, Double hilt, 799 bucks. These, they're serious. These things are serious. They got a video here that shows you everything uh, that it can do. Here are some specs on it. I mean, it has different sound effects. There's different colors. You see nine blade styles, five blade effects, four power up effects, two watt speakers. It's serious stuff, man. It is serious stuff. And that's just one version of it. Here's this other one here. Ultimate Works RVJ Custom Saber. So look at these different colors that you can get here. And again, you can do this one fully assembled, 439 bucks. I mean, I guess this is kind of like the other side of things. For people who like to get those expensive statues, there are people who love to have these sabers. They, they cosplay, they are dead serious about it, and I respect the heck out of it. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for custom sabers, I have heard good things about this place, uh, the pack store. I'm just gonna call it pack store from here on out. Um, so yeah, check them out. And as far as these movie props and replicas go, 
You see, you got this Captain America helmet, the Black Panther helmet, the um, Iron Man arc, arc reactor prop, a couple of them. And then the rest of these are just sold out, um, except for the uh, Eye of Agamotto. You know, we got the new Doctor Strange movie coming out. And if you don't want the Marvel Legends version, you can get this one. Here's how this looks. 200 bucks, 200 bucks. Very nice, very nice indeed. So those are some movie props and some replicas. And it did say statues, but I think they're just like uh, like hot toys stuff down here. Like, yeah, you see here, like these are just hot toy stuff. Tusken Raider, Lando, um, Iron Man, Mark 50, life-size bust. Wow. He's battle damaged. Look at that. How big is this life life size bust? 66.5 centimeters with nano boosted wings. I need to do the math on that. Like what is 65 centimeters, 66 centimeters in inches? I will find out. So that's about 25 inches. We're talking two feet for us who uh, are all about that imperial life. So yeah, that looks really cool. $1,890, the standard version or the battle damage version. Okay, so they're different. Battle damage version is a little bit more and uh, full payment, including shipping. Let's go ahead. No, I'm just kidding. I will never do that. But yeah, that's some really, really cool stuff. There he is, unbattle damaged. So yeah, that was pretty much it for the figures. So for this week, I kind of just want to wrap it up with some more collectible things and not necessarily figures. And since I am a big wrestling fan, even though WWE has been on my bad side lately with some of the business stuff that they've been doing, I wanted to check out some of the belts because I do love the belts. So we're going to uh, WWE shop. Let's check this out. I don't know if anybody remembers the word life belt from John Cena, the U.S championship replica spinner title i think this was um this was during a period i think i might have been in college at the time and not looking at wrestling so i think that's when this belt was um was on tv but look at this thing 379 bucks and it is sold out and in my opinion this is an ugly belt i don't like this belt at all here's a picture of john cena just so good as peacemaker I want to see him in more stuff, but look at this belt, guys, especially compared to how the U.S. title looks now. This just looks really ugly. But people are loving it, probably because, you know, USA all the way. Yay, yay, yay. And um, that's why it's sold out. But here is the big look at the belt from the front and from the back stars and stripes all day long. I mean, just look at the, I don't like this belt at all. Look at the font on this. I mean, this was a straight up belt belt, man. And it spins, of course. And there was a lot of people who did not care for that spinner belt. Um, you know, at the time, the spinning, spinning was all, all the rage. You know, you got the, got the rims, the spinning rims, the spinning. What were they like? Were they 20s? What were they rolling on? Rolling on 20s? 18s i think it might have been 20s probably 20 inch rims yeah i think it was 20 inch rims but anyway john cena word life sold out let's take a look at this one which is a beautiful belt the classic wing eagle belt this is the dual plated replica version i love this i mean the winged eagle belt is just pretty much the most iconic wwe wwf championship belt ever and this is just a different like tone the different colors and i love gold and white i've said that plenty of times when i review figures that have gold and white i love that color scheme and this one is close enough even though it's kind of i guess more silvery than white but it still looks so good to me i mean this is classic this is wwf 1980s 1990s wwf stuff right here beautiful belt Winged Eagle, Eagle is so good. And here's the classic WW, well, I guess now WWE logo. But, you know, just imagine that the F wasn't taken out. Love that. I love this belt. 
and they have a lot of belts on sale right now so like i said this was 450 now it's 350 100 bucks off it's not too bad um and then i was looking for some of the newer belts they have available it's not a whole lot of them but they do have this brock lesnar um, signature series championship titles they got this for quite a few wrestlers you know triple h undertaker stone cold mankind daniel bryan i don't know if the daniel bryan one is still there or not but they all had their little custom championship belts um i don't like this belt i think it's kind of ugly but it's it's new and it's brock lesnar's signature belt so i figured i would show it is the back of the belt here kind of giving me some fiend vibes and then that skull and then on the side you got those unique plates and then you got this going on these spiky bits around here i like for my belts to have a little bit more color to them this kind of gray color scale is not my cup of tea i, I you know i love a little bit of contrast i love it when it pops um so if this belt has some color in it it might be kind of cool but since it's just kind of silver and dull and like whatever um now i'm not a big fan but you can get it if you want it's 500 dollars. but i will always recommend just chill out for a little bit wait for a sale because they usually have sales going on more often than not so you can get this for a little bit cheaper so before i wrap things up today guys i was thinking about gas prices and then that got me thinking about cars so i thought let's look at some freaking cars here look at this this is the car from cars you imagine if you can just buy this and just drive around with this i mean i don't know if you can see out that windshield maybe you can but it'd be cool if you could you know but um the ones that i wanted to kind of just check out for realsies the ones that have prices on them i went over to this website gateway classic cars and i'm not a gearhead by any by any means but i really do appreciate a nice looking classic car and they got plenty of them i'm gonna go back one page I thought I saw something here that I wanted to show. See, I like stuff like this. When I see a car like this, it kind of reminds me of like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, like old gangster movies or something like that. I think this is really cool. This is a nice car. 1947 Ford, $37,000. Four speed automatic. So I can drive it because I don't know how to drive a stick. But yeah, look at that. That's a nice car. Got another one of these classics here. 1939 Plymouth P8. Let's take a look at that one. 22 grand. And it's a manual. Do these cars still run? I mean, I would imagine that they still run. And I would not mind just riding around in this thing. I mean, you would turn heads wherever you go. You know how they built cars back then. You would be the toughest thing on the road. You know, somebody slam right into you. You'll be like, the heck was that? Eh, keep on rolling. Steel, baby. None of that plastic. But yeah, um, I, this is probably not something that you guys are interested in looking at. But, you know, like I said, I appreciate a nice looking car. Like this one here, 1934 ford three window really cool looking car this is like the type of car someone will put flames on the side of it you know but uh yeah old school jaguar or jaguar or how they pronounce it over uh across the pond i like the way you guys say it better i mean yeah whoa look at this 1957 chevrolet 150 wagon dude oh my god it looks like a hertz mix with a taxi look at this thing dude it, it it looks like a hearse mixed with a taxi and it almost could be like the ghostbusters car dude this is a how much is this seventy eight thousand dollars Ooh, dog look at that <laughs> man i tell you give me some jeff bezos money and i would just have just a place dedicated to all of these beautiful old cars and i would just drive around and, and just take inventory on people who looked at me like what is this what is that all right i'm just going to go through just one more page gawk at these cars and then i'm going to wrap it up and we already saw that is there anything interesting in here i'm not really seeing anything on this page do 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 that's probably a sign that i should just go ahead and wrap this up right now yep i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it 
yeah, that's it. All right, you guys, uh, I do want to thank you so much for checking out this episode of Action Figure Window Shopping. I know it's been kind of like half and half with action figures and just other things that can be considered collectibles. But, you know, what are you going to do? Um, things just really aren't popping right now as far as toys go. And that's a good thing because there's been so much money spent over this past month, month and a half with Holothon and, and NECA pre-orders. And that Turtle Van is still up for another week. And God knows who else is going to be coming out with stuff just left and right, left and right. Running out of money here, people, so let's just sit back and just fantasize about other things that we cannot afford. It's still fun. But yeah, I'll take a look at and uh, see if there are some interesting things uh, that are announced this week that I can show you next week. And if there is, I'll show you. If not, well, I'll show you something anyway. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Jeremy. I'll talk to you later.